Hey, good morning. Saturday, January 30th, 2021. Thanks so much for being here this morning. I want to continue with t now and probably this evening as well. I want to explore talking to ourselves, this self-talk thing, and not let it get hijacked in the wrong direction. You know, we talk to ourselves all the time. The Bible urges us to consider all of our paths before God. Everything we do, thought, word, and deed, is to be done for the glory of God. And I think one area we do neglect applying that to is the self-talk we engage in. And again, I'm not talking about psychological speak. I'm talking about the fact that we talk to ourselves all the time. But there's someone who's a part of that conversation as well. We're never talking in isolation from God. Look at the first several verses of Psalm 139. God is always there. He knows our thoughts even before we have them. Whether it's a cloudy morning, beautiful morning, you know, cool morning, whatever is happening, whether you're upset, angry, happy, thrilled, whether you're experiencing blessing or hard times, God is there. If you're in despair and agony, God didn't leave. We may act as though he did, but he never did. He's always there. The nearness of God is our good because he's always near. He's committed to us. That's what Jesus secured for us on the cross. Gratitude is always there. When I lose sight of gratitude, I lose sight of the fact that I am in communion and connection with this God who gave his life for me. I could always be in deep gratitude for that. Okay, well, last night I, we gave a negative example of self-talk. Talking to ourselves, the rich fool. He has a big crop. He talks to himself and says, what am I going to do with this? Look at this. I have all this good stuff. What am I going to do? I know I'm going to be financially secure. God wants people to be financially secure. What a great deal. And then God comes and tells him, no, that's not what God's called us to. But now I want to give you a positive example of self-talk. Again, it's in a parable form, but the, re the recording of the younger brother in Luke 15, where self-talk is good, because he went to his own way, and instead of continuing to live out bitterness and anger that he didn't get what he wanted, he comes to his senses, as Luke 15 says. When he came to his senses, what am I doing here living among these pigs? And, you know, he's even longing for the, the pods of corn that they're eating. And, if, and he's so hungry, if I could even only eat those. But then he thinks, he realizes, wait a minute. Even the most lowest servant on my father's staff has plenty to eat. I'm going to go back to my father, repent of my sin, and find out if he even, just, just give me a, 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 a low spot on a bunkhouse where I'll at least be able to eat and be warm, and I'll know I'll be secure because I don't deserve any more than that. So you see, that self-talk to him, you know, he tells himself, I've said, Father, I've said before you, I've said before God, I've done the wrong thing, you know, I want to come home. See, that's positive self-talk. Listening things to the word of God. And so, as we see as the parable plays out, he does that. So God needs to be a part of our self-talk, both when we get silly and like our resources are ours to do with what we want, or silly, foolish, or I come to a point of repentance and wisdom of saying, I need to do what God wants me to do. That kind of self-talk, considering his ways properly as Proverbs over and over urges us to, that's good self-talk. So include God in your talk to yourself because he's there anyway. Don't ignore him. You know, if you were talking with someone and they were standing next to you and you just ignored them, it's like they weren't there. We've all had that experience, right? We have. And you just ignore that person. And this person is waiting to say something to you, wanting to help you with something. But you ignore them. And you 
don't care what they have to say because you're so focused on yourself. Well, we ignore God when we don't include him in our self-talk, when we don't ask him for wisdom. Adam and Eve didn't include God. They just tried to figure out they could handle this serpent on their own instead of involving God. So tonight, I want to look at the idea of self-talk and prayer. How we can incorporate prayer into our self-talk in such a way that the direction in 1 Thessalonians starts to take root to us and become alive, where we can see how we can continually pray without ceasing. And that's including God in the conversation who's right there with us. Making him part of that conversation, that's another way of prayer. But that's the thought for today. So this is positive self-talk. And we need that because God is always everywhere. He's always with us. He knows what's going on in our hearts and minds even before we get there. So that's the thought for this Saturday, uh, January 30th. Again, thanks for being here. The Lord bless you. And uh, just one more today to go in January 2021. You have a great day. Again, thank you so much. Bye-bye.